going back, I enjoyed Brabham before everybody. I enjoyed Brabham in Brazil in 1974 when they came to do a, a, a first Formula One race there. And I worked by, like a mechanic there, help everybody in the ah, team. And, uh, really? and, uh, and I have no passes to, to come next day and have to sleep in, inside the, the, the box. <laughs> they closed me inside there. <laughs> Same problem, no passes. <laughs> no passes. <laughs> the funny thing is, I was doing Formula 3 and this BS fabrication, Bob Spasho, came with a contract for me to, do, to drive Formula 1. And I said, Jesus Christ, what do I do? And Larry Perkins said, look, only guy can help you to say something about this is, is Bernie Eccles. Who, who's this guy? Oh, this guy, they take over Formula One. He's, he knows everything. Anyway, I got the dress, I right there. I went to knock the door, the door a little bit open in, in Brabham. I look, and there was this guy sitting there. He said, uh, Mr. Eccles, yes, can you help me? He said, I said, what do you want? I said, oh, I'm doing Formula Three. I win a lot of races already, and I got a contract to drive Formula One. And Larry uh, asked you to give your, your opinion. In two seconds, he read the thing. Said, "Oh, it's very good, but if you are really good, you're in a, you're you're tied with these guys." And he wrote down a way out. Huh? And I wrote down a way out. And I was in Monza, and then in the grid, what, what the, the day that the Peterson died, and he came to me and said. Uh, you want to drive for me in, um, in Montreal? Uh, in, uh, yeah, and I said. Was this your first race in Montreal? Yeah. yeah With yeah, me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a one drive. I said, uh, yeah, why not? He said, come yeah. in my office. And he took the contract yeah. Yeah. and he said, Hi, can you read English? I said, more or less. And you have to write. I read and understood and sent the contract and put. And he said, you want to know how much money you go make? It's a three years contract. I say, go pay me? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I pay $50,000 a year and 20% of the price when I said, it's good enough for me. <laughs> I want to drive. <laughs> you did very well. We did some good deals for you, didn't we? Yeah, because I got some sponsors. Every time I got a sponsor, I give to him. He said, when I check the check, he give you half. And he said, half, he give me half. <laughs> oh, it's very good. I, I, the, the first year, 79, Geez, I made something like uh, uh, between the pro car and uh, oh. and uh, in sponsors and the price money you can put half a million dollars. I did. You know, it's, I, I would like expect to make no money. I didn't care. I want to drive. That's a lot of trust. So you signed a three-year deal and you had no idea of the terms of the. No, okay. I have no contract. No. He has a contract no. for three. I didn't have. <laughs> no, but this is important. If he <laughs> says contracts. something, if he says something, you don't even need to shake his hand. It was always yeah. firm. There was no discussion. Now, when I joined Brabham, you guys had run off with all the money by, by 89 and left poor old Herbie to pick up the pieces. <laughs> You'd gone to the FIA, Charlie, had, by yeah, then. Yes, at the end of 87, Bernie suggested it. So. Bernie suggested you went to the FIA? Yeah, yeah. We didn't race in 88, and then it was reborn in 89, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. When Nick retired, Charlie came to be my mechanic. Oh, we, yeah. we was together yeah. for seven years. We won two championships together. Huh? Yeah. yeah, that was after Nicky went. I yeah. was on Nelson's yeah. car for six years. Six years. years. Yeah. yeah, six years. Yeah, yeah. 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 good days. Was he good? Was, did he complain about the car much? Or very little, very little. <laughs> My only complaint was he played too many jokes on us. Um, <laughs> there was once sitting on the grid somewhere, <laughs> and, and he said, "Fuel leak." I think it's a fuel leak. I don't know. <laughs> went under the car. Oh God! Look, you could see this puddle. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he couldn't be bothered to go to the toilet. And he did it in the car. <laughs> but when Nelson first turned One up in Canada. He arrived there, he'd been boss suit and he was all <laughs> no, it's all like this. They asked me to go to Canada, <laughs> no? and geez, I have no money at all. I have a 300 pounds with the money to, for the end of the year. And I said, since I have no clothes, what I do? Geez, I went to Harrods. I bought a trousers, a shirt and a shoes. And I was supposed to meet Gordon in Heathrow Airport and I arrived there. I saw Gordon, Jesus, with the plastic sandal, <laughs> with the trousers you here, designed a t-shirt, full of holes, 
<laughs> I spent my bloody money. <laughs> I know. I arrived at the circuit. This guy so here have a big hole in the trouser here in the back. <laughs> and this hole was for one year. He had the same trouser. I said, well, bloody, you spent my money. 